welcome to one who seeks where you are the one who seeks what are you seeking all right hello everybody it's been a couple days doing some spring cleaning Clearing things out that are jumbling the mind, clearing out the space, deep cleaning it, organizing it, replacing it with things that are fun, sort of looking at a bunch of paperwork, and now looking at guitar equipment and tarot and all of the beautiful gems that come with it. Alright, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Alright, I'm gonna use this deck today. How's everybody doing? So we're going to do the five card spread, as you see here. I'd like to welcome in our angels, our guides, spirit, and our intuition. Angel Michael for protection, all of our ancestors, the loved ones who have passed. Thank you for being here. Thank you for always guiding us. Ooh. This is the energy, High Priestess, beautiful. Calling in spirit. Have maybe an open and clear channel for the guidance of the collective for their greatest good individually and as a group. Okay. What are our energies for today? Super Bowl Sunday. Mm. Knight of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Four of Cups. King of Pentacles. Wow, a lot of Pentacles. And the Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So, looks like you're on your high horse here. Somebody's putting on you, putting you on a pedestal. Maybe you're putting yourself up on a pedestal. ground yourself kind of realize your place right maybe you think you're you're higher than holy or maybe you're just trying to achieve that Cause you really want to be on this throne here all right so it looks like you've gone from poverty into wealth here but you still have this like playful energy it's art artistic feel 
I mean, we didn't really have very much going on over here as far as being artistic. You know, you're just kind of in survival mode here and, and grounding yourself. You're moving up into this king mentality of wealth and abundance and power and control. This one always reminds me of what kind of like Willy Wonka almost, you know, the, it looks like a big lollipop here. And then you got these spirals that remind me of taffy. And then he's just got this funny jacket on with this shirt. The shirt has some grapes on it, it looks like. And then some bulls here. A blazer. And money is literally growing from the ground here. Maybe you planted your seeds in order for them to grow. You held your ground. Okay, and you have great freedom again here with the crown. The great gift of abundance. Yeah, like just be moving forward, grounding yourself, becoming abundant, coming from this place of struggle and fight. Trying to raise up your level to get to this high priestess, raise the vibration. And really, you needed to nourish yourself, love yourself, hug yourself. Get in the grass, you know, drink some, some tea, drink your water, maybe something healing. Being nourished. Somebody's helping you out. Motherly figure, divine feminine. Mother Earth. Right? This is in your your past. This is the struggle. This is the fight. This is the just keep moving forward. This is your present. You know, you're holding on to your your money. Because you're dreaming of something bigger. You have plans. So you're kind of just like one in a million here, lost in this concrete jungle of a city. All right, this is about foundation, your home. You know, opening up your emotions, which is also a foundation here with your four. You got your four and your four. And your hidden influence points to the hidden aspects of the question you may have overlooked or are not aware of. Right? Nurture yourself. Nurture yourself. Ground yourself. You know, go from the city to nature. Get out of the, the concrete jungle area. Get into the forest or backyard or grassy knoll in the park in your backyard, your front yard. You know, enjoy the sun, Just nourish yourself. Yeah, this is the advice. Yeah, have fun, have fun with it, yeah. Things aren't always as they seem. Money doesn't always Come from a certain source that you might think it comes from right it's growing on these vines here from the ground and normally they say money doesn't grow on trees this is coming from the ground so 
money does grow. It's abundant. It's continuing because you're the bull. You're you're moving forward here. And your li likely outcome. All right. Sitting pretty. Free as a bird. Free the mind. You're in control. You know, because you've really connected to the higher power, the manifestation of being grounded. would be um, the Four of Cups is the timing as well. And so that is months, four months, within four months, you know, spring, summertime. Kind of right where it's going to start crossing over to be summer. You're gonna be sitting pretty. Okay, let's ask a few more cards here. Tell me more about the King of Pentacles and the fun craziness that's going on here. Okay. Two Cups. This is about union, connection, and emotions. Okay. You might be connecting with somebody. And you're having a good time. You two are abundant in love and money. And having a good time. Who is this other person? Ten of Pentacles. Mm hmm. Somebody you're going to start a family with, or maybe already have a family with. In the community, this looks like maybe um, some sort of a teacher. You have your family dog, a man's best friend, your children, running and playing. This is the connection with your community, with someone else, with your family. Tell me more about this other person. The 11 card. Justice. <clears throat> hmm. Reminds me of like justice when you're arguing with somebody else, like with your loved ones. <clears throat> right? You have to have balance, see both sides of the story, you know, take a look at yourself. Alright, your eyes wide open here in your reflection. They're helping you cut through this, this mind 
everything that's going through your head. And we end up with the crown victorious. You know, even though you just struggle, struggle with yourself, your self image. Struggling between the choices of something. You know, maybe of where you're going to live. Because you have foundation here. And you're moving. Weighing out the different options. Maybe you're weighing out the different options of two different people. You got to look inside. Inside yourself. Look at yourself and see what you really want. You know, there's a lot of choices that come with having a family. Lots of choices. Tell me more about this balance. Of justice, five of pentacles. Uh, so some of them is feeling sorry for themselves, either you or someone else. They are kind of just wanting to maybe be alone and <clears throat> pout and cry they don't want to walk through that door yet they have the key right here they can walk through you know, this kind of reminds me of like a child throwing a tantrum running to the room something about not being able to lock their door it's like she wants to be in this room she's not necessarily trying to get out With the elements here, the star, with your spirit, the different elements, swords, cups, pentacles. Alright. So we're just missing the wands. are fire, your passion. Maybe somebody's worried about what they're going to do, what their passion is, or thinking about that. They need to take action. Maybe finally getting to that home and being able to shut that door if you were living on the streets and then you made it here with someone else you're just excited to be able to shut the door maybe you did lock it maybe you locked yourself in and you're just like oh fucking finally like relaxing and weeping into your yourself here as like a sigh of relief, right? I feel like all oh, this is just so much relief. Getting out of your head with the help of this person, this other person, someone in your family, loved one. And we're building these foundations. What other information do we need to know about this energy? What actions can we take in order 
to achieve these Ace of Swords. Page of Wands. She's uh, sitting here with her dragon playing a flute. She's got some candles lit around her. Um, the big bubble here. Sitting under the tree. You know, the action really is just to have self-care, relax, and do some things that you enjoy. Make some music. Sit with your dragon. You know, tame your beast. All right, part of grounding. Nurture yourself. You know, create a, a, a romantic atmosphere for yourself. You know, but maybe this person's over here pouting. So go do something for yourself. All right, maybe have your alone time. Okay, you really, you need some alone time. Seems like whether you're locking yourself in a room or outside. death card that way you can transform you know you're in the light here you're moving up to being high priestess this is the music the flute is the music that's going to guide you alright kind of looks like this is the same tree here See the tree. Being resurrected, you're being transformed, taken to the light. This music is going to transform you. I see a lot to do with family, with the trees here. So this tree making a whole tree. You know, a tree that you're laying here next to. This death. Yeah. To have the courage to keep fighting. Yeah, this is uh, something that needs to happen to make a change. This is the wands here. So yeah, see, and then we had the wands. I asked about action, and now we're getting all the wands. Right, let let things be. Just let them be. Stop trying to save everything. Stop trying to control everything. It looks like these two guys are trying to stop the fight of the two lions. <clears throat> and this guy's like, no, let them fight it out. Right. This is that balance again. Right? Opposing sides, bringing them together so that we can have this union and this family be the king. You know, have our solidarity to be able to grow, resurrect, transform. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see here. Let's do the wild offering. Yeah, 
Now you need to get it out of your system. Get that anger out of your system. That's what the transformation is. And it looks like your, your partner is kind of in this energy with you. All right, stand your ground now. Keep your boundaries so that you can have your alone time. It's hard to get away sometimes if you have a family, especially. All right, or a lot of roommates, kids, husband, animals. Loneliness. When you stop fearing your aloneness, you stop settling for less than you deserve. May I embrace and love my solitude, see? And that's when kindred spirits can finally come, right? So this is what we're talking about here, right? And then your kindred spirits coming together. Fearing your aloneness, you're alone here, right, with this tree. Just embrace it. You get your inner beast here again. You know, maybe those are your spirit animals there. The lion and the dragon. It is the year of the dragon, 2024. Grace and love your solitude, right? And she's locking herself in the room. And then kindred spirits can finally come. Here's the elements with your spirit. Mm -hmm. Get that two here. Can't tell. Yep. So we have companionship with mistakes. Okay, companionship. When you fully bless and embrace your aloneness, wow, that's crazy. When you stop fearing your aloneness, when you fully bless and embrace your aloneness, you're ready for the ones who are meant to be with you, right? The ones that are meant to be with you, that bring you balance. May I welcome the solitude knowing it will open the way for all healthy relationships. Wow. And then you have mistakes. Allow me to know it's okay to make mistakes. Let me always take care of the inner child so he or she feels love no matter what, right? This could be like your inner child too. Right? It's okay to make mistakes. You know, the good and the bad. It's okay to look at yourself though. Learn from those mistakes. Look at yourself in the mirror. Okay, this child looks like they're happy and feel loved. All right, arguments, mistakes, the good and the bad. You know, give love. Your inner child is in alone here, but you know, it's good. Stop fearing it. Stop settling for less than you deserve because you deserve this, right? You deserve this, this balance. This perfect harmony, this, this love of family, community. Mm -hmm. Daily crystal. Azurite. 
Get laser focused. Okay. Yeah, laser focused, I guess. You have this with that Knight of Pentacles there to keep moving forward. You, know, you have some focus here where you're you're battling these people off. Something needs to happen here to have courage. Turquoise, prioritize your health. Yeah. your health here. The nourishment that's going to get you here. Mm -hmm. Amethyst. Trust your intuition. Yeah. Definitely. High Priestess. knowing right. you know it because it's in your guts and your heart you feel it what feels right to you what feels balanced what are you transforming into In order to have this beautiful love. Especially for your inner child. Mm -hmm. I create, creatively cr create my creations. It's a mouthful. I am brilliant, worthy, and oozing with star power. While thinking is generally healthy, too much thinking opens doors for resistance, gremlins to come party in your brain, right? We're releasing from all this thinking here. The mind, the swords, right? Taking care of your health, right? To prioritize your health here. Okay, unleashing swarms of insecurity, imposter syndrome, self-doubt, and excessive justification. Overthinking leads to uh, obstinate procrastination and obstruction of your magic and creativity. Remember, you are composed of the same elements. See elements. There's the elements here. And the star. In an infinite space, glimmering stars, snow-capped volcanoes, and seraphic sera <laughs> waterfalls. Mm -hmm. You have a gift that only Source has, right? Source. So this is the High Priestess. Where is she? She's hiding here. Source. Power to create. The time you waste trying to justify your creations is time you should be creating your creations. Stop fucking around. Right? Stop messing around. Get out of this energy. Right? Start creating. As I align my habits, decisions, and actions with my dreams, my creative ideas become real things. The world abounds with stimulating distractions, and it's easy to lose yourself in a labyrinth of activities, projects, and directions. 
but you'll never complete any journey if you keep changing your route. Bring your dreams to reality by aligning your habits, decisions, <laughs> actions, goals, and core visions with each other in a hierarchy. Like your chakras. Align yourself. Cultivate habits so you can make better decisions and support the actions you will take to reach your goals, which in turn support your dreams. The amateur spends time on anything that catches his attention, but the pro circulates time to everything that aligns with their dreams. Mm -hmm. So, you know, try different things, make mistakes. The, the action, make the, the decision. Okay. Because nothing's going to happen unless you take action. tonight gratitude i am grateful and this loving energy fills every single cell of my being mm -hmm. continue to be grateful for what you have right stay laser focused to make mistakes you don't need to worry about it that's how we learn trust your intuition though Gratitude for all this that you have, all this abundance here. Companionship that you have. It's okay to take some time out for yourself so that you can realign so that you can come together. Sometimes you just have to do things on your own in order to become one with someone else. Right? You have to surrender to your higher spirits here, nourish yourself, have balance. Sunstone, empowerment. I am empowered in all areas of my life. Huh. Because you put in the work. You've already gone through the struggle. Okay, you're working your way through the mind, just giving gratitude. For the lessons that you've you've learned making these mistakes. But you have companionship. You know, you're not lonely. You have others, you have your community, you have your family, you have your loved one. But it's okay to go off by yourself and ground and figure out what it is that you want, what side are you going to be on, so that you can make this change. Amber, ancestors. My ancestors are guiding and loving me now and always. I am open to receive their support and wisdom. 
absolutely. No, maybe this is one of your ancestors here in the death card. answered your questions. Thank you for being here with me at 126. If you found this to be helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to anyone else you think might find this useful. And have a wonderful day. And I thank the angels for being here with us for your greatest good and guiding and supporting us always. Have a blessed day.